Ha <laughs> Any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with, any bullying will be an instant ban. This is a positive stream slash community and none of that is welcome. Please enjoy the show. We don't care.
AEW is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your first episode of the week. Games and Matter Wrestling at your service, as it always is, each and every Tuesday and Thursday, right here on Twitch. And after what happened on Saturday, we've got some new stuff to sort out. All roads leading to survival July 24th, ladies and gents. Also, we have a brand new women's champion and a new number one contender. And tonight involves the women's title in the co-main event. One of the big matches that's been made today. Yamashita one-on-one with Coley Masters. If Coley wins the rematch at July 17th is a triple threat match. Yes, Dragon Queen is number one contender. And yes, unfortunately, the bully bullied her way to the women's title. Also in the main event today, for the first time ever, Kenny Omega teams with Punishment Martinez to face OJJ... And Billy Paragon. Bonjour, France. Boy, are we in for a treat tonight. Also, the Lobos meet the Good Brothers. That's right. The Los Loco Lobos beat the Good Brothers. The Good Brothers getting their warm-up before Saturday's match on Underground because they're going to wrestle the Wolfpack Mafia this Saturday on Underground as well. Plus, the third... The fourth match, I should say, in this best of five series with Rashad Davenport and Tuberman. And here's the deal. Tonight, it's first blood. If Tuberman wins, Rashad Davenport doesn't get a TV title shot at July on uh, pay-per-view. If he wins, he equals. And then, probably next Tuesday, I'll probably do it. But the final match will be an Iron Man match. So, we'll have to wait and see. Also tonight, Andrew Eaton one-on-one with Maximum Carlos. That's right. Uh, Maximum Carlos and Pushman Martinez will challenge the Aftershock for the World Tag Team Titles of July 17th on uh, Underground, on the Dynamite episode. And uh, whoever wins that will meet the UK Collective at July 24th as well, plus a whole lot more. And also, as well, Yamashita yeah, one-on-one with Colleen Masters if Colleen wins the proposed scheduled rematch between Yamashita and Amanda Drake for July 17th will be a triple threat match as well. And also tonight you're going to hear from another guy who's in a triple threat match, Matty Owen, because unfortunately Matty Owen won his match against Billy Paragon in a non-title match. So the proposed one-on-one match between Ray Wolf and Billy Paragon is now a triple threat match. It will be Billy Paragon defending the world title against Ray Wolf and Matty Owen July 17th. And yes, Tuberman is scheduled to defend that World TV Championship. And I have a possibility of who, who will re- he will wrestle. But tonight we're going to start off with a newcomer. That's right, SJR will wrestle in the opening contest. Eternal, you know I love you. You know what? I want to return the favor. I even even know you were streaming today. I've been too busy with other stuff. I didn't even know you were streaming. Friggin' uh, pain in here. Holy shit, you've been going on all day. Nice. Uh, yes, uh, lurking and jerking. That just sounds wrong, doesn't it? But anyway, we digress. GMW is here. Ladies and gents, and also as well, a lot of other stuff is coming on this week. Um, tomorrow I'll be here. I'm thinking about having a day off tomorrow, to be honest with you, because the England game's on, the semi finals of the England game. I'm thinking of changing the schedule and doing a watch along tomorrow. Uh, I'll probably do a watch along anyway because I'll probably have it up. Um, I'll probably have the England game up, but. Uh, yeah, I'll have my chat up in that in the England game and whatever. Thank you for that, uh, local. I was going to do that myself, but, I, you know. Brain's not computing today, which is probably starting my life at the moment. Like I said, that some weird stuff that's been happening around here, ladies and gentlemen, around my end. I can go into details, but I'm not going to go into details. I will say this. I went to check my battery out Saturday morning, um, one morning, six o'clock in the morning, because I was up at that time, and I thought, I'll get out of the way and sort it. Um, and then at 11 o'clock, my mother comes into my bedroom and tell, and shows me a letter that somebody wrote, 
declaring themselves to be a spokesperson for Eston View, the play, the street where I live on. And uh, apparently they were telling me to stop playing my music at 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I didn't take it seriously because it said... Uh, oh, I forgot to do the uh, entrances. I'll do that later. Um, there's a lot of things I forgot to do. But yes, it's SGR, guys. I'll do that later. This is his um, tryout match, I guess you could say. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm going in one-on-one -on -one with this match. As I was saying, um, yeah, they declare themselves the spokesperson because at the bottom of the, at the bottom of the of the um, letter they said the people of Eston View basically trying to speak for everybody in Eston View. But the fucked up part was they wrote the thing in they wrote the letter in crayon. As well. In yellow crayon. So. Anyone could have wrote it, whatever, but they wrote it in crayon. Who fucking writes a letter in crayon? Seriously. But, uh, we digress. <sighs> yes, SGR, a guy who's been in and out my streams. This is his character that I made for him. I hope he likes it. I did the best I could, but uh, yeah, like I said, this is his tryout match. Mm -hmm. uh, Michinoku Drive against a guy who hasn't been around a lot in GMW, Matsuda. A little mini Matsuda as well. Uh, yes. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, like I say, Billy Pyogan teams with OJJ to face Kenny Omega and uh, what's his face? Uh, Kenny Omega and Punch with Martinez. Samoa Joe and the Big Amish. Samoa Joe's challenged Big Amish to a brawl tonight here on GMW and obviously Amish accepts, so they're just going to have a brawl and see what goes down. Them two will meet one-on-one -on -one July 24th. Uh... As well, and yes, as well, the third match, or the fourth match, rather, in this Best of Five series. Tuberman is 2-1 to one in the series. If he wins tonight, it's the end of the series, and Rashad Davenport does not get a TV championship match. At July 24th. So Rashad has to win tonight. It is first blood tonight. And I have somebody on standby who might, who uh, will be challenging. Uh, and I've got a little proposed as well. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, as you can probably tell, or as you, if you've watched GMW, um, as well, or caught up on your GMW on YouTube and that and whatever, um, I haven't been very happy with one Goldberg as of late. He's dropped the ball. He dropped the ball in the... Uh, Battle Royal, and he dropped the ball in the uh, match against uh, Evil Eyes, which I wasn't very happy about. So, like I said, Evil Eyes. Yes, uh, he tapped out to Evil Eyes. So I've got something in store for Mr. Goldberg based on the outcome of this match. And hopefully he will not disappoint me. Because if he does, I'm pretty sure he will regret it. Beautiful inside spear. SGR's done well so far in his uh, opening match. On his um, first match here in GMW. This is his debut tonight. He was going to go for a slingshot there, but... Uh, Got ruined. Slingshot. Sunset power bomb on the uh, floor. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I don't know what time the match is on, but the other semi final is tonight. At least Spain, so I will have that popping up in the back in the background as well. Uh, fucking what they call it. I have no idea what uh, is going on today um, there's the 
arrow. I was going to say the rope break there, Rev, clearly. Even I could see that. But uh, SGR in a little bit of trouble here. Matsuda fighting back, and Matsuda uh, looking to prove himself. Prove that he belongs here in GMW. But a super kick that was. One, two. And SGR just kicks out. Yes, it's on BBC tonight. I think all the matches are on BBC tonight, aren't they? I know. Um, there's the red arrow again, or the green arrow in this case. One, two. And SGR loses his first match. A learning process for SGR. But Matsuda gets the victory. So, big win for Mr. Matsuda. Yep, the first one didn't because the road break, but the second one did. The second one got it. And there it is, Matsuda gets your victory. Matsuda with a big win. Looking to bounce back on the roster. He hasn't been around, but uh, this will help him a great deal. Will we see another match? We will find out. So, we digress. We're going to have a brawl now, ladies and gents. That's right, Samoa Joe has challenged Big Amish to a brawl. And here we go. Yes, Samoa Joe no longer the LCW World Heavyweight Champion. Because I got my belt back. As well. Uh, by the way, I will have something in store for July 17th as well. Because not only is the Hardcore Championship going to be on the line. The Women's Title, the TV Championship and the Tag Titles and the World's Title as well. There's going to be a major big match in store that I'm planning. But you'll have to wait. All in due time. As a uh, great band once said. <coughs> but here we go. Backstage brawl. Ding ding, just ring the bell. Have them both out there. Let's do let's do this. This was Samoa Joe's challenge. Say just a brawl, big fight feel. We all get serious July 24th at Survival because these two will meet one on one in a grudge match. Big rivalry between these two. Apparently, someone in the crowd said he's happy to be here. I'm very grateful for that. Anyway. Beautiful uppercut. Rocks the big man. Big Amish. Former VMR World Champion. Former VMR United States Champion. Former GMW World Television Champion. And World Heavyweight Champion. GM LCW Undisputed Champion. And uh, LCW Hardcore Champion at one point as well, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful, uh, like I said, just let these two brawl, guys. That's all you can do. Just let these two brawl.
your full air uh, uppercut. These two are just fighting. They get serious July 24th because these two will meet one on one. Amish is hunting his belt back. At the moment, right now, Pushman Martinez is the number one contender for the world title. And at the moment, it is scheduled to be Billy Pogan, Pushman Martinez for the World Heavyweight Championship July 24th. That could change, depending on the outcome of the triple threat match, or the scheduled triple threat match, July 17th. Because Paragon will defend the world title July 17th in the Facebook special that is GMW Dynamite as well. Also, I'm hoping by July 17th, at least, or at least July 24th, we find out who the fourth man is. Because that's what we haven't found out yet. We haven't found out who the fourth guy is. It's starting to get annoying. I ain't gonna lie. Russian leg sweep. If anybody can hear me in chat. Yes, you can. Just making sure. So every time, friggin' uh, what they call it, apps, Streamlabs OBS has an update, it tends to fuck with my uh, settings. Good to see my uh, OBS is in shape tonight. Previous times it's lagged a little bit on my streams, or maybe it hasn't lagged on the stream, but it's, it's lagged a bit on my end, because at the moment right now it's on green, but it's been on red lately on the uh, thing. Cheers, Eternal. Throws back in. Got a fight going here. Army um, should be looking for an advantage. He's looking for a choke slam again. Will he hit it? He will. He's definitely looking for an advantage going into their big match at uh, July 24th. It will be July 20th, July 24th. Small Joe, Big Amish, one-on-one -on, -one on pay per view Right here on Twitch, by the way. It'll be Big Amish, Samoa Joe, one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. GMW Survival will be streamed live. And like I said, the Survival match itself. The Lobos... Ray Wolf and Local Joe team with the Mafia. Yours truly and OJJ. And they will team up to face the Elite and a mystery partner. Whoever that mystery partner is, I don't know. And hope we, hopefully we'll find out in the coming weeks. Because GMW Dynamite is a week from this Saturday. And at the moment right now, it's four on three. In the survival match. Because we don't know who the fourth guy is. Big Amish. Samoa Joe. One on one. July 24th. Also the World TV Championship will be on the line. Because Tuba Man. Or because the World Television title will be on the line. Tuba Man will not necessarily uh, defend it. Because he might not even be the champion going into the match. All depends on the outcome July. Um, and a Russian leg sweep. And Samoa Joe gets the victory in this brawl and yes if it wasn't a what they call it if it wasn't a brawl match ladies and gentlemen obviously no submissions that would have been a kaki the clutch Samoa Joe OP as always but there we go so coming up next Andrew Eaton is in action one on one and he goes one on one with the hardcore champion, the current hardcore champion. Uh, the current hardcore champion of the world. Oops. The current hardcore champion of the world himself, Mr. Uh, Maximum Carlos, who has an opportunity to walk out with two belts. July 17th because he's going to wrestle for the tag titles as well so we'll see what happens peeps we will see what happens 
but Samoa Joe with a victory. Yeah. It is what it is. Third match of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Maximum Carlos. According to the Hardcore Champion, yes, he retained the Hardcore title Saturday on Underground against Adrian Webb. Adrian Webb got his shot and blew it. So Maximum Carlos is still walking around as your GMW Hardcore Champion. Tonight he wrestles a guy he could possibly face July 24th if he wins the World Tag Team titles. If he wins the World Tag Titles. Like I said, because the UK Collective await the winner of July 17th at July 24th Survival Pay-Per-View. I think it's about time the Mafia got some belts back around their waist. I think it's about time we took control and do what we do. Get some gold back around our waist and become the World Tag Team Champs. And again, get the belts back where they belong. well and yes the world tv title will be on the line whether whether to the men's champion or not but yes maximum carlos one-on-one -on -one with andrew Eaton is now also still to come today cam martin will go one-on-one -on -one with Votto in a rematch because i believe cam martin beat him the first time we had this mat we had a match I I think they've had matches before, but recently they had a match and can't beat them. And Votto wants to uh, get back in the saddle. He's dying to become world champion again like he used to. Well, t I told him tonight, if he wants to be, if he wants that, he needs to beat Cam Martin. Because Cam Martin owes a pinfall victory over you, big boy. So, Andrew Wheaton, former heavyweight champion of the world... That's right, he's a former GMW World Champion. Cashed in money in the bank on Loco, if I'm not mistaken. And won the GMW World title. Representing, proudly representing the Wolfpack Mafia. The UK Collective. Let's see. Uh, Yes. Yesterday on Mayhem, Ray Wolf beat uh, Mr. Eaton one on one in this tag team elimination thing that they do, that uh, Loco is doing to determine who the number one contenders are for the World Tag Team Titles because the Lobos, the Lobos, aka Ray Wolf and Loco are the World Tag Team Champions, and yes. Ray beats Andrew Eaton, so Mr. Eaton might be on the receiving end. Uh, Mr. Eaton, Mr. Carlos might be on the receiving end of a beating tonight from Andrew, but uh, I won't be so sure of it because Carlos has been doing his thing. He retained his title on Saturday on Underground, defending that championship, and he'll be defending the title again at. Uh, July 17th GMW Dynamite and more than likely defended again no, no, well he will not be defending it at the uh, GMW pay-per-view but he may defend the tag titles but he, he may even have to wrestle twice that night because like I say he's scheduled to go for the world tag team titles him and Pushman Martinez the B tag team of the Lobos because the A team, Loco and Ray, even though they are the LCW World Tag Team Champions, kind of busy July 24th. Because they've teamed up with me and OJJ to face the Elite, or Team o Omega, in the survival match. So they're going to be busy. But hopefully they can have the their boys, Carlos and Martinez, bring the belts home. <coughs> the Lobos have won the tag titles before. Amazing. Thank you for the sub. 12 months. I'm not going to lie, hon, and don't take this the wrong way, but if you were here right now, I'd kiss you. I ain't going to lie. Loyalty is a thing, and it is what it is. 12-month hype indeed. If you were here right now, I'd kiss you. 
Really would. King of King Scorpion. Or was, I think that's right. King of King Scorpion. Uh, King of King Scorpion, I believe that is. I, I, if it said King of King Scorpion, it would probably be two S's. But, uh, <laughs> um, but anyway, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that follow. That really went weird there. Thank you for the host as well, amazing. Uh, yeah. Or King of King Scorpion. Okay. It was either one. It was one of the other, dude. Hang on, is there two S's there? Or am I just blind as a bat? Hang on, let me look at my, uh, what they call it? My list there, because I have my list on my dashboard. It was one or the other. Is there two there? It says King of Kings, but there's no S's. There's, it says King, it, basically it's pronounced King of King Scorpion, but if it's King of Kings Scorpion, I'm, I'm going with it. <laughs> I'm going with it. You've corrected me in chat. If it's King of King Scorpion, I'm going with it. So there you go. You've corrected me in chat. I'm going with it. Deal with it. So, yes. So, thank you, everybody who is here. Yes. If you want LCW, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for that amazing. If you want some LCW, Mondays to Fridays and Fridays on pay-per-view, for pay-per-views, twitch.tv forward slash local XGO. Chaos Monday, uh, Chaos Friday, Mayhem Monday. And Carlos wins and beats Andrew Eaton up. Like I said, Carlos, he's been on the roll. He retained his belt on Saturday. Made quick work of Mr. Eaton. Today. I think I need to give my mafia a good swift kick in the ass. And I hope this is not the case, because I want the belts back in the mafia. I want the tag titles, because we are the tag team supreme here in GMW. We're the longest reigning tag team champions. And I want the belts back in the mafia, but at the end of the day, it doesn't seem that way, but... Lobos are the favourites to win the tag titles. I ain't gonna lie. Especially with Carlos's form at the moment. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Hope everybody's doing good. Like I said earlier on, ladies and gentlemen, I got a letter the other day. I got a letter the other day telling me not to do my not to take my um, not to play my music at six o'clock in the morning in my car while I was checking my battery. And, uh, yeah, two things wrong with the letter. One, it said people of Eston View at the bottom of it. Apparently someone's a spokesperson around here or thinks they're a spokesperson around here. Yeah, how to make yourself public enemy number one. But also, ladies and gentlemen, the letter was written in Creole. So that's when you know not to take it seriously. Like I say, a majority of the people around here, ladies and gentlemen, don't give two flying fucks what I do with my car. Just to say that. Yes. Oh, well, they're going to regret it. No doubt. They will regret it eventually. I mean, my next door neighbours have become public enemy number one around here, even though I thought they were nice neighbours. And to be fair, they were. They thought the world of my dad. Well, he, the male thought the world of my dad, but, you know, he's become a cheeky cunt lately. You know, he's become a cheeky get lately, which is frustrating as hell. But, uh, yeah, because apparently it's got to the point where we can't park on our front round here. They have a big issue with it. Because they want this routine with their cars and that. Fuck you. My car stays on my front. And it stays there. But apparently they want to harass people and, you know, and try and do this routine they've got with the cars. It ain't it ain't nobody's fault that you've got three cars on your driveway. If you have three cars on your driveway, you have three cars. Because I park my car on my front. Because I won't fucking touch my driveway. Because I hate my driveway with a pea purple passion. Ooh, it's, it sucks. I, I literally hate my driveway. It really does. Everybody gets a straight driveway and we get the cockeyed one. Sick. So... And everybody else is started parking their cars on the on on the front as well, not in the driveways and that. And they have a huge problem with it next door. Yeah, they have a huge problem with it next door, 
because apparently he came out the other day and complained about all the cars being on the street. Just let him get on with it. Fuck him. Pretty much. I'm pretty much to myself here. Yeah, you try to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. I did it all out of kindness. But then I got then I then I just woke up as it gradually went along because at the end of the day they just wanted us to walk all over it. Even when I went to park my car, at one point they came in and helped us up and got us to move it back. And I'm like, fuck you. You know. And then at one point, the front end of my car, right? Say this is their gate here. One side's my gate. One one side's my garden. One side's well. One side's my house. The other side is theirs. Right, my car, right, this is their side here. My car was just a little bit over. Not a lot, a little bit over. When I came home from the first England game, when I went back to work, right, by the way, come, um, first half main event, Lobos and the Good Brothers. Right, right. When I came back, the back end of the black car, which I'm guessing belongs to the, the man of the house, uh, Darren, his name, right? The back end of his car was halfway on our front. And every time that happens with me, they come to us and complain about it. Wait, 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 wait. But even though it's frustrating from our point of view, we never said a damn thing about it. And that's when I knew they were taking the piss. And then it just got, I just got frustrated with it and fed up with it. And like it said in the chat, fuck him. Uh, yeah. You try and keep... I mean, I've never had this issue. I've been living up here now, Bennett Hills, for 10 years. Considering what happened to me in 2004, I would have got out of here a long time ago. Mm. I would have got out of here a long time ago after what happened to me in 2004. I was ready to go then. But, you know, the opportunity never came about. But, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's just ridiculous. I mean... I spoke to Hashaholic about this in his chat yesterday on Trovo. He said it best. I'm living with a bunch of weed. I'm living on the same street of weed morons. Because that's what I say. My neighbours, not all of them, but my neighbours are in, you know, planet cuckoo. You live in an apartment. I, to, to be honest with you, living in an apartment doesn't sound like a bad idea, to be honest. But no, I don't. Um, I live in a house. Uh, Two-storied house. I've been living up here. I've been living now in the Berwick Hills area since 1995. No, stand corrected. October of 94 because I moved up here. I was in my last year of primary school. And I only moved up here because my dad went to senior school up here at a school called Langbar. So, go figure. He wanted me to go. I went and it was a shithole. And it wasn't a school. It was a boot camp. Five years of hell. Which is probably one of the reasons how I came, how I became who I am today. To be honest, you know, in the crazy side of it, I am a nice guy, ladies and gentlemen. But the crazy side of me, you know, because the the fucking school was a shit hole, and not only that, it wasn't even a school; it was a boot camp. Considering the stuff that went on there, I've never liked. You know, I wanted to be with my buddies. When you developed seven years in primary school. Hanging out with guys and hanging out with your boys and all that stuff. They went their separate way and I was the only one that ended up going to Langbath. You know, I was a long range of walking into that school. I didn't want to be there. Cry I'm not ashamed to say this. I even cried on induction day because I didn't want to be there. And then I just got on with it. I was like, fuck it. Whatever happens, happens. You know, to the point I'll probably end up getting expelled one day. And then they'll get fuck off. But I didn't, because back at school I was too nervous. There was a lot of classes in schools, at that school. There was a lot of lessons at that school that I wanted to nick out from. I wanted to miss. But I knew if I did, if I had the confidence, I would have done it. Without worrying about what my parents would would do or anything like that, I would have done it. No, no doubt about it. There was a lot of, a lot of lessons in that school that were fucking pointless. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. You know, religious education, history, unless it was watching videos, you know, um, and that, films and that. 
Um, but there was a lot of lessons in there to go that were just fucking pointless. Yeah, yeah. And I ended up... Uh, and if I didn't worry, because... I, I would have nicked out lessons and everything like that, nicked out the class and everything and done that, but I didn't want any heat from my parents. Not that they would have cared, but I didn't want to come home and have my parents in my ears at the time, you know. If I'd have fought somebody at that school, I, they wouldn't have cared. God's honest truth, they wouldn't have cared. They always wanted me to stick up for myself. And the biggest mistake I ever made at that school in, in respects of fighting was, you know, relying on the teachers to do it. Because the teachers don't do fuck all. If I had a pound for every time somebody came up to me, and I know this is in the same way as in America as well, if I had a pound for every time somebody came up to me and said, oh, walk away from bullies, be the better man and everything, I'd be a fucking millionaire right now. I wouldn't be sat here, okay? Because hearing that makes me want to puke. Seriously. You bully at school, you're a, if you bully in general, you're a scumbag. Plain and simple. But the only way you deal with a bully is if you beat the fuck out of that bully. You know? If you use the things that got... Even if it's with weapons. Because if you bully, you deserve to get your ass kicked. Whether it's at school, whether it's in... Fuck knows where. Doesn't matter. You bully, you deserve to get a whooping. And I hate all the times I used to hear back in my back at school... Uh, back at that school. Walk away, walk away. Same with the teachers as well. Walk away. Oh, God. It's a good thing I haven't got the temper. It's a good thing I, have, I didn't have the temper now I have now, back then. Because <laughs> the teachers would have fucking hated me. They probably did anyway, most of them at least. But yeah, bottom line... That school wasn't a school, it was a fucking boot camp. And my dad used to go there, so go figure. And they call this street Eston View right now. You can see Eston Hill still a little bit, but not as what it was when we first moved up here. Because now they put a big fucking school right in the middle of it. You know, it is what it is. Wolf's Den. Made a pretty good match between these two. Yes, it's fourth count anyway, guys. One, two, and just kicks out. So thank you to everybody who's came by so far. Whether you're lurking, whether you're chatting, whether you're watching the stream, whether you're kicking back. I do appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow with, G with GTA. Uh, might not be a long stream tomorrow. Uh, longer than I usually would do. Um, I will be killing Jimmy Pecorino tomorrow. I don't know. Do I do, do I kill, do I come on and kill J Jimmy Pecorino and just leave it there until next week and then go and watch the England game, or do I do that? Because I'm pretty much at the end of the PC version of GTA. I'm pretty much at the end um, of it. I'm pretty much completed the GTA Four. So if which I probably will do tomorrow, I'll probably do. Um, I'll probably start the Lost and Dam tomorrow as well and move into the Lost and Dam uh, side of it. Or oh, the, the Lost and Damned Let's Play. The Lost and Damned Let's Play. It's not easy to say. So I'll, I'll probably move that in tomorrow. So I don't know. Like I said, we'll see how things pan out. But I know I'll have the England game up tomorrow. <laughs> Welcome to the local lock there, Luke. These t two teams will be a part of that survival match July 24th. And we, the Mafia, will wrestle uh, the Good Brothers on Saturday on Underground. Wrestle the Good Brothers on Saturday. One, two. No, not even two count. Okay, one count it is. Now, also as well, guys... I've got my, what I call it, uh, oh, Khalib, thank you for the follow, my bad, I didn't see that there, sorry, I was too busy gabbing, but thank you for the follow, uh, as well, 
too busy gabbing, did not notice, my bad. Appreciate it. I do appreciate all followers tonight, guys. And uh, oh, the match is kicked off. Oh. Two minutes into the match. Right. I'm going to have this on. Don't worry, I'm going to mute it, but I'm going to have it on. Because whoever wins this semi final match between Italy and Spain. We'll meet either England or Denmark tomorrow. And England-Denmark is tomorrow, ladies and gents. I think both these matches are at... Uh, well, both matches are at Wembley. And then the final's at Wembley. We haven't conceded a goal in this tournament. That's offside, surely. How was that offside? I looked offside there. Oh, it's just hit the post with it. Fucking hell, you were late there, weren't you, with that flag? I was going to say, I swear you were late with that flag. I'm late with that thing, wasn't it? I hit the post with it, I cried out loud. Anyways. Uh, I'll be back on Facebook on Friday as well, guys, with ARK. More ARK on Friday. Fuck knows what I'm doing, but it'll be ARK on Friday um, as well. I know it's, gonna be a little, it's probably going to be a little quiet tonight because everybody's probably watching the Euros as well. Either that or the sick of the sight of uh, WWE. Even though WWE 2K20 still gets a lot of views on Facebook. Can you imagine that? Even though the game is dead and a pile of garbage, people still play that game on Facebook. That's one thing I've noticed. I don't play the game on Facebook. I just do it for GMW. You know, and G GMW's been getting some good views. Uh, the match, the uh, the episode of Underground on Saturday got a good, got a good uh, view. Some good viewing ship as well, and reactions as well, the likes and all that. Yes, Dragon Queen, for those of you that don't know, is number one contender for the women's title and she will wrestle the women's champion July 24th. Still to come, if Cody Masters wins the co-main event tonight against the Amashida, the proposed rematch on Saturday, uh, the proposed rematch July 17th, will be a triple threat match if Cody wins. If not, it's one-on-one. -on -one. So we'll see what happens. Do you know what? I also feel good and positive in respects of that because May and June, ladies and gentlemen, have not been very good. Um, very good months for me. But I'm kind of proud of myself in respects of the way I've dealt with stuff. I, I Before, I never used to be able to be good at dealing with things as well. This is mental health talk that I'm doing here. I never used to be good with dealing with things. But... Dealing with, you know, the annoying neighbours, you know, dealing with, to count, dealing with a certain Geordie, whose name I will not mention on this stream, at least not yet anyway, but whose, whose name I will not mention, who I thought was innocent and everything and all that, and got rid of her, which I do not regret, that's a cutter by the way, one, two, three, oh, look who just kicked out. But, uh, and Ray got took out there. But yeah, I'm very pleased with how I dealt with her. And I'm still waiting to deal with her a little bit because apparently everybody wants me to talk to her. You know, which is why I broke away from all the bullshit to begin with and, and stepped back a little bit. I mean, no offense to all the guys and they know who they are. And I love you all the pieces, man. But you, you know, you literally. And I'm not going to say not everyone, it wasn't everyone, it's just particularly one person. I just got sick and tired of people saying that, oh, I should go and talk to her and everything like that. Fucking hell, I didn't do nothing wrong. 
she should come and talk to me. If she's that, you know, oh, we've changed and everything, I'm not the same person. I'm like, oh, fucking, I'll believe it when I see it. I ain't falling for no traps no more. Been there, done that, not doing it again. But I'm proud of myself. I've got to admit, I've dealt with them. Because if this was, I don't know, 10 years ago, max, I wouldn't have dealt with it very well. And I believe that Jordi is the reason why um, our dear friend, Dragon Queen, situation and that. Because I don't know if Dragon Queen's been streaming. I think she's had other, other stuff to do, like. But, uh, and like I said, Dragon Queen with the whole mod situation as well, Twitch being fucking Twitch. You know, oh, you can't have too many mods if you're a little whatever you know good thing I good thing I did stream before I would jump to mixer back in the day and the Lobos even though the good brothers dominated the match but the Lobos get the victory and yes and now and Carl Anderson is just another victim to the local lock as well Cover. And hopefully the servers will be all right on Friday as well when I play uh, GT when I play Arkham on Facebook. Because there was a lot of lag last yesterday and it was pissing me off. Let me tell you. Oh, and on Ark, I've started building my uh, greenhouse as well. And I'm probably going to put a a cooker next to it as well uh, the thing that you make kibble with and paint and all that stuff I forgot what they call it but um, I'm going to put that I'm going to build that next to it but anyway ladies and gentlemen I digress because that's the first half of this episode of GMW as well uh, SGR made his debut lost as well, uh, Big Amish and Samoa Joe going into a brawl with Samoa Joe 1. Maximum Carlos makes quick work of Andrew Eaton. And as you clearly saw, there, the Lobos win the match. Coming up after the break, after this quick switchover, we are heading in to the second half. And it is Tuberman versus Rashad Davenport. If Rashad Davenport wins, he equalises. And we will have an Iron Man match as the final match in this best of five series. However, if Tuberman wins, Rashad Davenport ain't getting a TV title match July 24th. And it will go to somebody else. And I will announce that after the match, should everything go well. Votto one on one with Cam Martin. Yamashita one on one with Colleen Masters. If Colleen wins, it will be a triple threat match July 17th in the proposed rematch between Yamashita and Amanda Drake. Yes, Amanda Drake is the world champion. Matty Owen, as well, who's also in the triple threat match July 17th for the World Heavyweight Championship. He will be here to speak. And that is your main event of the evening right there. In full effect, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Omega for the first time ever teams with Punishment Martinez. And he will go one on one, and, and they will go up against the team of Billy Paragon, the heavyweight champion, and OJJ. And yes, Billy Paragon would be looking to get a piece of Kenny Omega as well because this past Saturday, what was a great match, Kenny Omega beat my world champion, which I'm not particularly pleased about, quite frankly. But. All will be revealed in the second half, so let's get into it, shall we? Bullying in any form and any negativity is not welcome in this stream. Any negative will be dealt with, any bullying will be an instant ban. This is a positive stream slash community, and none of that is welcome. Please, enjoy the show.
half, peeps. <laughs> Hype indeed. GMW second half is underway, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to kick it off with this best of five series. Three matches that have been taking place. And at the moment right now, Tuba Man is 2-1 up. Rashad needs to win this match and bust Tuba Man open to get an equalize. Because if he equalizes in this match and wins it, it will be 2 all. And then we will have the final match, which is an Iron Man match. If Tuba Man wins, we won't need for the best of five because he will win 3-1. to one. And uh, Rashad will not get a TV Championship match at the pay-per-view. So, let's find out what happens. I kind of hope Tuba Man wins because i got something in store for him. Thank you for that, amazing. Um, I kind of got hope that Tuba Man wins because i got something in store for him July 17th. But you never know. Rashad wants that TV title shot. Let's have a look. Cat there. Uh, oh, fuck it. I got the energy. I got your remedy, and your remedy every Tuesday and Thursday here on Twitch is GMW. That great e fed wrestling action. Hence the name, amazing, hence the name. Local, local. Yes, the the the. The alert and the song that made local famous to me, at least, because, yeah. And like I say, if they had entrance musics on this like they did back in the day, I guarantee you that'll be local's theme song. <laughs> I guarantee you that'll be local's theme song. Remember when they used to have the music? You could put your own music in back in the day on WWE games. Guarantee, guarantee that would be local's theme song. That would be, I would have that as Locos theme song, guaranteed. And s since uh, Amazing's just mentioned it there with that little, uh, them little uh, emotes, if I can find it, I need to spell it right. Uh, let's do this. As well, just to uh, see it. Song. Look it up, ladies and gentlemen. I can't remember who's there, but I know Nick Dog's in it. Very good song, that. Very good song. But anyway, best of. Best of. Is it best of five series? It is a first blood match. If Rashad equalizes, we go into an Iron Man match. If Tuba Man wins this match and busts open Rashad, R Rashad does not get his TV title match and it's over. And Tuba Man wins the best of five series. Tuba Man is not only the world television champion, he is also the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, the LCW world title, which I currently possess. And yes, at Summer Showdown, it will be a showdown for itself, ladies and gentlemen. Yours truly, one on one with Tuba Man for the World Heavyweight Championship. Or King Tuba, as he's now known on LCW. Yes, he won. He won the GMW King of the Ring back in the day, which is how he became a two-time world champion to begin with. And not only that, he is now the LCW world King of the Ring, and will he win the world title for me at Summer Showdown like he did when he beat Punishment Martinez for the world title to feel the heat? 
after winning the King of the Ring, King of the Ring. Uh, the GMW King of the Ring, sorry. So we'll see. As well. And yes, guys, I know that's my vlog channel. I haven't been up on the vlog channel. I'm going to put some videos up. I've, I've neglected the vlog channel. I'm not going to lie. So I will be putting vlogs up. Random vlogs. Um, down the road as well. Talking about certain stuff as well. And giving you the catch up as well. In better detail. So... I'll see you, like I say, follow that, get me up to 100, and I can get a better uh, URL too. All I want on that channel, guys, is 100 subscribers. If you can get me on the 100 subscribers, I'd be greatly appreciated. I'm at 11 at the moment, and yes, like I say, I have neglected the channel. But uh, doing them vlogs can be therapeutic, I ain't gonna lie. Um, if I'm being honest with you. Like I say... May and the beginning of June has not been very good for me, That's a, which is the reason why I haven't been doing that much on that channel. Because I've let bullshit get in the way, I ain't gonna lie. And like I say, nothing's making sense for me at the moment, especially around here where I live. You know, the, the letter, next door neighbours acting like cheeky twats. You know, nothing's making sense. And this past Sunday I celebrated four years since my dad's passing. And Rashad Davenport will not be getting the TV championship match. Tuba Man wins the best of five series, three to one. So here's the deal. Tuba Man, you will defend your world television title. Nothing, nothing to do with LCW. You will defend the world TV title. And here's the deal. You're going to do it July 17th on Dynamite. You're going to defend that world television title against Goldberg. But the reason why I'm putting Goldberg in there is because there's a stipulation in there. Okay? And I know you're listening, Goldberg, because I've sent you home. Because, I'm like I said, I've been pretty much annoyed with you. Here's the deal. Tuberman versus Goldberg. GMW world television title. July 17th on Underground. Tuberman does not need to do anything except try and retain his world TV title. But here's the deal. Because you've disappointed me, Bill, as my enforcer, lately, you've dropped the ball. You did good when you beat Samoa Joe, but you've dropped the ball. I want to put you to the test how much of a pressure, because I think it might be needed, it might be a time for a change in the Mafia. So here's the deal. You either win... The world television title July 17th. Or you're fired from the mafia. And you'll be no longer my enforcer. You either bring that TV championship back to the mafia. Or you're done. Your choice. So there you go. One final test July 17th. If you fail, Bill, you're done from the Mafia. So, with that being said, we move on. Voto one on one with Cam Martin. A bit of a rematch here. A bit of a rematch. Because uh, Cam beat, after the the Battle Royal that Cam won, the step-up Battle Royal, I believe Cam at some point beat Vota, so we're going to have this match now and see who wins. As well. Still nil nil on the Spain Italy game. I'm probably gonna watch the second half when I'm done with this. I could see this going to penalties tonight. I ain't gonna lie, guys. I mean Italy have done well to fight. I kinda want Spain to win. But Italy have done well to fight for goals in this tournament as well. And they beat the favourites, uh Belgium. Or one of the favourites at least depending on how you see it. But uh, I have a funny feeling that this is going to end up going to penalties tonight. This is end up, We could be in for a long night tonight with this uh, early Spain match. Could be in for a very long night. So 
we'll see what happens. Here we go, Cam Martin. Cam Martin and uh, what's his face, Vota. So I hope you guys heard that. I hope you guys saw that and everything. So here's the deal. I hope you guys heard that. Like I say, July 17th, Tuba Man will defend the World Television title. He's going to defend the title anyway, but he might not even make it to July 24th. But July 17th, it'll be him and Goldberg one-on-one -on -one for the World Television title. If Goldberg does not win the TV championship, he is fired from the Mafia. He will no longer be my enforcer. Because lately he has dropped the ball. And he's disappointed me. I ain't gonna lie. But he'll be out the mafia. Sorry, I've got this in the thing here. I'm just watching something. Whew. So Vota, a man who's looking to get his or to get back into the world title picture and get that world championship back around the waist. He is a former world champion. But uh, he needs wins under his belt, ladies and gentlemen. And the only way he's going to get wins under his belt is if he starts winning tonight. And hopefully he can use that to, tonight against uh, Cam Martin. Cam Martin will be wanting to get back into the championship picture as well. So we'll see. Cam Martin, former world television champion. Looking to be the world TV champ. And once that belt back. And also Ray Wolf is still owed a rematch for that world television title. But at the moment right now he's busy. Last thing on his mind at the moment is getting a TV title shot. Big win for the Lobos earlier on tonight against the Good Brothers as well. Still to come, the main event, Perisha Martinez and Kenny Omega face Billy Paragon and OJJ. Beautiful suplex. Coming up next as well, the co-main event of the evening. It will be Yamashita one-on-one -on -one with Coley Masters if Coley wins. She'll be in the triple. Th she'll be in the world women's title match July seventeenth, because it'll be a triple threat match. Suplex, beautiful suplexes, uh, float over suplexes.
Got wrench suplex. Uh, fall away slam. What the fuck? Are you serious? Oh, fucking hell. That's my bad. I am a moron. Yes, I am. Anyway, we digress. So, what do you see on tonight? Twenty count, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget that. Come on, looking to choke out. Uh, Votter looking to choke out. Come on, but now Come on's looking to choke out Votter. On cue. Oh, package pile driver. He hit it. Why they didn't go for the cover? Why did they do that? They hit the finishes and they don't go for the damn cover. It's no logic. How the fuck you don't go for your for a cover on them? After that, man, it's a mystery to me. Oh, sheep is creepers. Right. Beautiful knee. Elbow, elbow, and boom. Oh, but on the right hand, close line. German suplex into a rate maker. That was one of my old finishing moves when I first started doing this. German suplex into a rate maker, just flattened him really. Okay, whatever. Anyway. Beautiful stunner. One, two. Oh, and Votter just kicked out, referee. Fucking hell. Choke out. Choke. Votter's, de Votter's looking definitely to get stra strangled here. Boot to the, yeah, boot to the midsection. Clothesline. Vicious one at that. Oh, and uh, still no deal of the Italy game. That is a package power driver. <sighs> Wait, you wasting time. Why are you wasting time? Good grief. Oh. Oh. F5 coming up. Oh. Cam's version of the F5. One. Two. And Cam beats Votter with it. Wow.
And there you go. Come Martin, your victor. Right. Come Martin gets the victory. Don't forget, guys, this coming Saturday, I'll do the quick uh, promotion here. This coming Saturday, like guys, do not forget, uh, it will be the Wolfpack Mafia going up against uh, Maf the, the Mafia, Wolfpack Mafia, going up against the Good Brothers, like the Lobos did tonight. It'll be the same again on Saturday, except it'll be the Mafia's turn on Saturday as well. So, yeah, should be interesting. Um, I promised Loco as well that he will go one-on-one -on -one with Kenny Omega this week. I might do it for Thursday. If I don't do it for Thursday, it'll be Saturday as well. But I know July 17th, Kenny Omega's definitely got a big match on Saturday, July 17th. That I do know. One week before the pay-per-view. So we'll see what happens. Big things are happening for GMW, ladies and gentlemen. And like I said, tomorrow, guys, it is the season finale of GTA 4. Because all I have to do tomorrow on GTA 4 uh, for the PC, the playthrough that I've been doing, is kill Jimmy Pecorino. So we'll see how that pans out on uh, tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably go into The Lost and Damned. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might come on tomorrow, do some things, mess about for a bit, kill Jimmy Pecorino, and then go to, uh, and then go and watch England and save Lost and Damned for, for next week. I don't know. Like I say, I might do a bit of Lost and Damned as well. Like I say, I haven't quite figured that. I know tomorrow, I guarantee tomorrow I'll be killing Jimmy Pecorino. That is a guarantee. Right, Yamashita one on one with. Uh, Yamashita one on one with Colleen Masters. If Colleen wins the proposed world women's title rematch between this woman and Amanda Drake, yes, Amanda Drake is now your women's world champion. If she, if Colleen wins, it will be a triple threat match. And whoever wins that match, July seventeenth, whether it's the rematch or the triple threat match, whoever walks out of under, of the Dynamite show, July seventeenth, will compete. That's right. We'll compete and we'll defend the championship July 24th against Dragon Queen. That's right, Dragon Queen. As their first opportunity to become women's champion. Or the GMW women's champion. This is your co-main event of the evening. After this, Matty Owen will, be, will have something to say. As well. And then we'll on to the main event, which is Billy Paragon and OJJ. It will be Billy Paragon and OJJ taking on Push Martinez and Kenny Omega. Hey, that's a nice match. Where did you get that from? A lot of you are asking. My thoughts on Jimmy Uso Call the type side headlock. I'm fucking sick of it now. It was only yesterday. That we Roundhouse kick. Like I say, guys, don't forget, if Colleen wins this match, it is a triple threat match, July 17th, for the women's title. If she doesn't, like I say, her and uh, Dragon Queen had a classic on Saturday on Underground in the Iron Woman match. And Dragon Queen won the feud between the two. Two matches to one. Dragon Queen will be looking 
will 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 challenge for the women's title. But uh, Colleen will be looking to have one more match with the uh, Dragon Queen. <laughs> If she wins the women's title, if she wins this match and then goes on to win the women's title July 17th. Because whoever wins the women's title July 17th will wrestle the women will wrestle Dragon Queen for the women's title July 24th at Survival. Oh. Downward spiral into I forgot what they call that move, but I know Christopher Daniels used to do that move. Boy, did he ever used to do that move. Colin Masters now with wrestling. Thank you for the follow on Facebook. I'm not going to pronounce your name. Fall away slam. I think uh, Colleen is still feeling the effects of Saturday. On underground with that, uh, that brutal... GMW uh, the Iron Woman match she tapped out quite a bit in the match as well she lost the match 6-5 and just as the time ran out she ended up getting a, a pinfall but uh, Dragon Queen got two pinfalls so we might see a new like I say we might see a new women's champion but Colleen Close lines, Yamashita yeah, right over the top rope. She'd be looking to make this a triple threat match and get her get an opportunity. Cause she wouldn't mind to face or to have another uh, opportunity to face. Another opportunity to face uh Yamashita. Yeah, uh, another opportunity to face uh, Dragon Queen. Oh, and a clothesline. Yeah, or discus uh, forearm. I was going to say lariat there well, for some reason. So 20 count, I believe, this guy. So if this ends in the double count out. Yeah, Mashida still has one on one, a one on one match. If this ends in a double car now, which I don't see it doing, quite frankly. And a whipper snapper on the outside. Oh my. Represent a card of ten. Yeah, Mashina and Colleen are fighting on the outside, and boy, they're fighting on the outside. That's a fall away slam. There's that drop down into... Ah, I forgot what they call that move. I need to look it up because I know Christopher Daniels used to do it. Especially in the uh, TNA era. There's the, the long head scissors. Head scissors take down, which is usually set up for the AMK. Right on cue. Cover.
whip. The Mashida ain't for Oh, and a backdrop. In the back. Who is going to win this? Will Colleen make this a triple threat match to thy 17th? There's that submission hold. She's going for it. Will Colleen tap? No. Nope. Colleen looking for the cover. Goes for the cover. Drop kick? No. Oh, there's the AMK. Hopefully she goes for the cover or pulls away, whatever. Doesn't often do that, ladies and gentlemen, but anyway. Referee, fucking hell. One, two, and it's a triple threat match. So the rematch between Amanda Drake and Yamashita is now a triple threat match. So it will be Amanda Drake defending the women's title July 17th against Coley Masters and Yamashita in a triple threat match. And the winner of that match will defend the women's title July 24th at Survival against Dragon Queen. So, despite losing the Iron Woman match on Saturday, Colleen got a little bit of redemption. And she has an opportunity now to wear gold around that waist if she wins the triple threat match July 17th. If she wins the triple threat match July 17th, she will defend that title against Dragon Queen July 24th. And no doubt she'll be looking for another match with her. So we move on. What the fuck? Matty Owen, another guy who's going to be in a triple threat match. So, Matty Owen will be looking to claim the World Heavyweight Championship. He could shock the world July 17th and become the Heavyweight Champion. Oh, come on. There's my... You know, when you can't find stuff, ladies and gentlemen, God, it might be. Uh, just added a minute ago for crying out loud. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, Matty Owen, ladies and gents. Fucking hell. There we go. I know what I'm saying. 
Right. So with that in there, and you can go there. So, Matty Owen. You see, coming up after this, guys, will be the yummy event of the evening, a tag team match. It will be a tag team match as your main event of the evening. And that'll be coming up right after this, ladies and gents. Matty Owen is vowing that he will be the champion. And he's the upset kid. And he's done very well to get to this point. He beat, he got wins, big wins along the way. And not only that, ladies and gents, he beat the world champion in an untitled match. This man will be hard to beat, let me tell you. You'll be tough to beat. And I believe he is the underdog in this match, July twenty, July 17th. Because at the moment right now, it is scheduled July 24th, Billy Pagan will defend the world title against Punishment Martinez. However, Punishment Martinez will get a championship match. But he'll have to do it a different route. Because should Billy Pagan lose that world heavyweight championship July 24th, at July 17th, against either Ray Wolf or Matty Owen, Things are going to be a little bit different. I believe if Matt Yorn wins the title, it might be a different match. It could be a triple threat match or three-way dance for the world title. If Ray Wolf wins, then uh, it will be Billy Paragon and Punishment Martinez one-on-one -on -one in the grudge match. Either way, either way, Things might be a little bit different. July set, July twenty fourth for the world title match. But will Billy Paragon be able to retain? We'll only find out July seventeenth. So mark it down in the calendars. Facebook.com forward slash games matter mafia. It will be GMW Dynamite. You do not want to miss it, ladies and gents. But here we go. Kenny Omega. Punishment Martinez, Billy Paragon, or versus Billy Paragon and the World Heavy World Billy Paragon, the World Heavyweight Champion, and OJJ.
<sighs> Apologies for the old guys, I am tired. I'm getting that way. Here we go. Your main event is now. Kenny Omega san. Sorry. That's not like I came out with the New Japan. Kenny Omega san. So anyway, Kenny Omega, a guy who beat Billy Paragon on Saturday. Club being the elite, by the way. Will Kenny be able to coexist with Punishment Martinez in this matchup? You see, Punishment Martinez, a member of the Los Loco Lobos. About to find out. And here we go, Push Martinez. Ooh. Out. Out. Never mind. So here we go. Martinez, former world champion, current number one contender. I like guess yeah, that could change after uh, Waiting on their opponents. He's the world's heavyweight champion. Not only is he got a problem with Pushman Martinez, he'd be looking for a receipt tonight on on uh, Kenny Omega. These two had a classic on Saturday on Underground. And he'll be looking to get a win tonight. Right here. As well. So will his mafia teammate, but close buddy. Uh, that's right, mafia teammate, but close buddy, OJJ. So we'll see how it all pans out.
world champion waiting on his compadre. Orange Juice Jones. OJJ, you'll be a part of that existent, the, uh, the match coming up, the survival match. But here we go, Kenny Omega, Punch Martinez, Billy Pagan, OJJ, your main event of the evening. Let's do it. Turn elbow tie-up. The World Heavyweight Champion. Against the A the current AEW World Heavyweight Champion at this moment in time, at least. Again, Colonel Botayap, Amrich. I find something, guys, but I'm not finding it very much. But, uh, um, Billy out wrestling Kenny at the moment. Kenny might need to make the tag. Kenny Omega. Or a boot that was. Kenny Omega now takes a neck breaker. And there's the reverse Rana. Kenny in trouble. Cover of the match. He gets the two count. Paragon doing very well. I said these two had a great match on Saturday, man. I'm not going to deny that. These two had a great match on Saturday. Oh, Kenny did not take the tag. Should he have gone for the tag? Superplex coming up. And no, it's not on the outside, which makes a refreshing change. Because normally it's on the outside. Kenny... And now he makes the tag to punch with Martinez. And Martinez is in. And he takes the knee. One. Two. It would have been awesome if uh, you'd lost that there. But anyway. Now OJJ is in. And Martinez and OJJ are no strangers to one another. I can just show you on that. Powerbomb by OJJ, getting into another one. And another one. And now tags back in the heavyweight champion of the world. Paragon, ever since winning that title in the Fatal 4-Way match, has done quite well for himself, I ain't going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. But Paragon gets thrown to the outside. A little preview of what's 
scheduled to happen July 24th with Martinez and Paragon one-on-one because these two are scheduled to meet July 24th for the World Heavyweight Championship. It could all change, though. It could all change. Irish whip, like I said. Martinez. Kenny gets tagged back in. Martinez and... Martinez and... Oh, there's the V-trigger. Martinez and uh, OJJ, no stranger to one in numbers, but... Kenny and uh, OJJ have had some issues. As well. Can he take a power bomb? Hopefully OJJ will do that properly and very viciously upcoming at the pay-per-view. Beautiful Hurricane Rider by the AEW World Champion. Kenny now pulls him in there, goes for the cover. And he gets a one count though. Kenny Omega. Oh, great count at four, I'm smash. Second half is underway with the Italy game. Oh. Second half is definitely underway with the Italy game. And the magic stomps. One time, most OP move in the game. Beautiful baseball slide. What the hell is OJJ doing? I don't know. Apparently, the crowd loved that. Martinez gets the hot tag. Martinez now with the heavyweight champion. Suplex. Martinez now looking to do this upcoming at the pay-per-view. That's a German suplex. Martinez right back up though. Straight, no, I, was about to go, I thought he was going to go for that straight jacket DDT, which won him the world title to begin with. When he cashed it in on Hogan. Paragon. And an L. Oh my god. A knee right to the ankle. And another one. That could break an ankle. Martinez really going to work on Paragon. Paragon now in a lot of trouble. Martinez, who already holds two, two pinfall victories, could very well make it three. There's the straight jacket DDT, which won him the world title to begin with. Like I see when he cashed in on Hogan during the Amish Hogan fight. One, two, and only a two count, though. OJJ breaks that up. Paragon breaks that up. Martinez broke that up. Roundhouse kick. Great counter from Paragon. The world heavyweight champion. We're looking for the run, and they, but he missed tele telegraph that. There's the military gut buster. Military press into a gut buster. Beautiful kind of there from uh, Paragon with a snap. Takes a snap there. Irish whip. Irish. Uh, oh, I'm drag takedown, I should say. Yeah, I'm doing all right, uh, Amish. Hope all is well your end.
the ball is well your insert. Oh, and a like a neck breaker kind of move. Okay, why hasn't that worked? Oh, it's because I took it off, didn't I? <laughs> but yes, please do. Go and uh, thank you that guy, guys. Go and shout out that guy. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash the big Amish. Go and check it out. Uh, do well. Good, glad to hear, man. Like I can say I've had some stupidity moments with people around my end. Nothing has made sense for me lately, but uh, yeah, nothing has really made sense for me at all in the past coming weeks. But uh, yeah, glad you're doing well, brother. Like I say, a big Amish goes one on one with Samoa Joe, July twenty fourth. Referee totally out of position. What the hell was he even doing out there in the first place? I know this is a false count anyway, but the two guys were back in the ring. I cannot wait for 2K22. I really can't. Hopefully they will take care of everything. I saw you were in uh, Queenie's chat earlier on today, Amish. On your lunch break. Queenie's still uh, streaming at the moment. I think she was trying to get the hours. I think she was trying to get the hours in, quite frankly. That's why she was streaming. She usually normally stream so early as she did today. She normally streams later. Round about now, she usually, she usually starts streaming. Um, yeah, round about now, she usually starts uh, stream-wise. Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I saw her... Uh, like I say, she normally doesn't stream round, round about the time she started. Um, she usually streams about, but like I said, she usually starts the stream round about now. But uh, I think she just wanted to get the hours in today. But I don't blame it, to be fair. I can't stream that long for six hours, me. I'm not really a fan. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Roundhouse kick. What's this? Well, there's that finishing move. Is that it? False count anywhere in this match. Has Martinez got a victory? One, two. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, same here. Like I say, she usually starts the stream about now. Like I say, I just think she wanted to get the hours in. I mean, when I went in, she had uh, to ban. She was banning somebody when I when I jumped in. She was banning somebody because apparently somebody called her a. I won't. Uh, apparently, somebody accused her of being a feminist, and let's just say she caught she got called a feminist. Leave it there. As well. But on my TikTok yesterday, I got two trolls on my TikTok trying to play smartass. One, two, and only two counts. So there you go. You get the trolls eventually, don't you? Yeah. That was before you came in. That was before you came in. She, she be, like I say, somebody came in and called her a feminist. And uh, yeah, that's when I, yeah, when a time to catch her. When somebody's calling her a feminist, you know what. So stupid. But in any event, you always get the trolls. One, two, and Martinez gets the victory for him and Kenny. Martinez is on a roll. Singles wise, at least. Like I say, that's why at the moment, right now, he's the number one contender. He beat Amish to get that title shot, although he could have that title shot taken away from him if he. Uh, If Billy Paragon does not walk out as world champion. Or Matty Owen, I guess. But Kenny in punishment. I wonder how Loco sees this because 
July 24th. It'll be Loco, Ray Wolf, me and OJJ facing the Elite and a mystery partner. We don't know who the fourth man is yet, but uh, yeah, July 24th. Should be interesting. Should be very, very interesting. I'll give you a quick recap and I'll let you know what's to come this week on Streamwise at least. Right. Big Amish was in action. He got challenged to a brawl today by Samoa Joe and Samoa Joe got the win. But uh, like I say, these two go one-on-one -on -one at the pay-per-view as well. These two go one-on-one -on -one at the pay-per-view. So we're all just building into the pay-per-view. Amish has got a score to settle. Yep. Amish has got a huge score to settle with Joe. So I think it's a game of one-upmanship going into July 24th pay-per-view, but uh, we'll see what happens. Matsuda beats the debuting SGR. Maxim and Carlos make short work of Andrew Eaton. Ray Wolf and Loco make, uh, beat the Good Brothers, even though the Good Brothers were dominating the match, but Loco, with his local lock, mm -hmm. gets the victory. You cannot stop that local lock. Once he gets that thing cinched in, it's night-night. It really is. Tuba Man won the series and it's been made for July 17th on Facebook it will be Tuberman defending the world television title against Goldberg and here's the deal since Goldberg has let me down lately and boy oh boy has he let me down lately if he does not win the world television championship July 17th he will no longer be in the mafia he will be fired from the mafia and my enforcer and so I'll be on. So if he doesn't bring that world television title home, he will be done. The only time, the only belt he's had in this whole GMW tenure is the world tag team titles. He's never been world champion. He's never been a television champion. Quite frankly, he's never been a hardcore champ champion, but he's never wrestled it. Uh, Cam Martin gets an impressive win over Vota. Coley Masters wins the match. So the proposed rematch for. July 17th between Yamashina and Amanda Drake is now a triple threat match because Colleen's in the mix. Matty Owen vows to become world heavyweight champion July 17th. And he doesn't care who he beats, but he will be. He vows to be the ultimate underdog and the underdog world champion July 17th. And as you clearly saw there, Kenny Omega and Punishment Martinez got a tag team victory. So, with that being said, ladies and gents, thank you to everybody who's came in. Amazing, Big Amish, Loco. I will be back tomorrow. It's it, it's two minds tomorrow, to be honest with you, because I know the England game will be on tomorrow, but I've got to do my uh, GTA playthrough tomorrow. Um, cheers, Amish. Uh, by the way, go follow that man, twitch.tv forward slash the big Amish. Go and get him uh, as well. I'm in two minds tomorrow about coming on because the England game is on. But uh, I'll be back with more GMW on Thursday. Uh, Big Amish will more than likely be in action again on Thursday as well. Um, I think I'm going to book a match on Thursday involving Amish. Um, I think it's going to be a tag match on Thursday between Amish and Samoa Joe. And it's, and it's going to be... No, you know what? Tell you what it'll be. I think the pick your poison. Amish will have a match. Samoa Joe will have a match on Thursday. Pick your poison. And we'll find out who they will face on Thursday. So yeah, that will be it's a pick your poison type match. So Joe gets a match. And then uh, Big Amish uh, will have a match as well. Uh, Amish, if you want to drop the name of the guy you want Joe to face on Thursday, please do in the chat if you're still here. If not, we'll find out on Thursday. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow with uh, GTA. It's the last thing on the GTA uh, 4. It's the last thing to do because I've got to do... Um, I've got to kill Jimmy Pecorino tomorrow as well. I went down the Jimmy Pecorino hunt, so I've got to kill Jimmy Pecorino tomorrow to end GTA 4. And then I get to move into Lost and Damned as well. So I don't know. I don't know about this tomorrow. I don't know how that's going to be. Uh, I'll tell you what think about it um, and let me know on Discord let me know on the Discord DM 
Have a think about it. Uh, I, t I tell you what, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. I'll give you a hand, if you will. Because I'm that type of guy. Right, here we go. Superstars. Uh, let's, can we go to mail? Or do I have to have all? Okay. So, on the roster is this, there's that, there's Adrian Webb, Wolf, uh, Aiden Wheeler, who's teaming with uh, Braun Strowman at the moment, uh, because Braun Strowman's in GMW, by the way. Um, Winters, Alex Server, you don't want no females. Don't know why I'm going through the females. Andrew Eaton, yours truly, the LCW World Champion. Um, Ashton Jules, that was you. Big Blake, representing the chess club, the World Heavyweight Champion. Um, Billy Paragon, the boss. You don't want his minions. Uh, Cab Martin could be potential as well. Uh, Colby Jordan, I don't know. Dragon Queen. No, because uh, the Drex even. Uh, Eddie Kingston, who's teaming with Moxley at the moment. Evil Eyes, I'm going to go throw up. Evil Joel, Gary Eaton, Goliath, Hannibal Black, Henry, Pennywise. Don't think he'd get the job done. Me! Okay. You want me to wrestle Samoa Joe on your behalf on Thursday? Is that what you're saying? You want me to wrestle Samoa Joe on your... Okay, done. There you go. Samoa Joe, me, one more time on behalf of Big Amish on Thursday. You got it. Done. I get one more crack at Samoa Joe. And don't worry, it's not going to be for the LCW World Championship. But I get another crack at Samoa Joe this Thursday. So it'll be me, Samoa Joe, and that will be your main event of the evening as well. And some, and, and uh, Big Amish, as well, that, I'll let you find out on Thursday who you're wrestling. But uh, I've got a funny feeling Joe's going to come back at you with that one. Just to let you know. But anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Me, Samoa Joe, on Thursday. I'm proposing Local Joe versus Kenny Omega as well for Thursday, but I'll have to wait and see. But it's, you're going to get it at some point. If you don't get it Thursday, you'll get it Saturday. But, uh, yeah. Me, Samoa Joe, on Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it here first. So, I'm not going to go into any, uh, what the call it. I am sleepy at the moment. I'm about to fall asleep here. So I'm not going to do any raids, guys. I've let my auto host do the work. So I will see you back here tomorrow for, G for uh, GTA. Like I say, it's the last thing I'm going to do. It's Jimmy Pecorino at the morning. Kill Jimmy Pecorino and then go into uh, Lost and Dad, maybe. I don't know. I might save it, see what happens. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. But it's the GTA playthrough tomorrow, either way. And I'll be back here on Thursday with Samoa Joe versus me and a possible Kenny Omega versus Local Joe. We'll find out on there, but I guarantee Samoa Joe is Samoa Joe versus me on Thursday, on because I'm wrestling. I am now wrestling on behalf of uh, the Big Amish, and hopefully on Thursday we'll find out who the fourth man is for the survival match. But we'll see what happens. So thank you to Big Amish, thank you to Local Joe, thank you to anybody who's came in, lurked, and all that good stuff. I will see you back here tomorrow for GTA. I will see you Thursday for GMW. Peace.